Okay. So let's discuss the steady state of theory. Steady state theory have the elegant alternative Big Bang theory describes the origin of the universe and ultimate fate. Another one is very popular in 1950s but is now obsolete. And this part of expansion of the universe are the pretty mentioned Big Bang theory 1931 George Lamatra and also developed and refined over last 90 years so 90 years of the expanding universe and so this is the picture the expanding universe as you can see over 13.8 billion years ago and next is alternative model the steady state will develop in 1948 Herman Bundy, Thomas Gold and Fred Hoyle the perfect of cosmological principle, the present universe, infinite extent, and definitely an old broken one in the most direction at all times, the past of all times, and the future, as will the universe evolve. Alright, so, I will discuss how stars evolve over time. So, this is the form of a cycle, the evolving over time in the universe, and doesn't change over time. So, as you can see, there is the cycle of universe. Now, the Milky Way galaxy is a large spiral and over 400 billion stars and consists of 100 billions of galaxies over time and i will discuss an uh, expanding of universe frequently mentioned okay according to the research i follow the format and explain that that this is the unit of expanding universe that have reached by kilometer per second and the distance moving expansion about um, about the expanding universe but in addition we have the HO is the rate of expansion known as the Hubble constant as you can see there the frequent the Virgo cluster and now we will discuss this the white particles which is the white milk away expanding or moving away and still expanding um very speed look at the video they're expanding and moving different um, different areas so the steady state of theory and the big bang theory are two competing models that seek to explain to the origins and evolutions of the universe the steady state theory po posits that the universe has always existed uh, maintain a constant average density as the new matter and continuously created to fill in the gaps lips universe on the other hand the big bang theory suggests that universe originated from a singular event approximately 13.8 billion years ago and has been expanded and evolving ever since this is the, this is the explanation of number two which is the origin of the steady state theory posits all right so let's move to an Number three, the other question, the other primary differences between the two theories in their treatment of the expansion of the universe. And number last question, the steady state theory was the largely discarded due to the overwhelming evidence in the support of the Big Bang theory discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation in 1965 provided strong evidence for the Big Bang Theory, it was the scale prediction of the model. Additionally, it is observed distribution of the galaxy and the abundance of light elements in the universe also align with the predictions of the Big Bang Theory. These pieces of evidence along with others lead to the steady state theory being largely discarded favor of the Big Bang Theory within the scientific community. So this is the discarded due to the overwhelming evidence in the steady state theory.